one. So I'm filming in natural light for one, so that's why I look like ridiculously pale. I have a really exciting tutorial today. It's a back to school makeup tutorial, but I actually wore this to a job interview because I think it's put together and not overdone and pretty enough to wear something professional like that. So first of all, I already applied my tinted moisturizer and everything, and if you want to see what products I use, I'll write them down in the down bar. And I'm just going to show you my trick to getting really glowy skin at kind of the end of summer, beginning of fall time, where you want kind of a sun-kissed glow that's not too overdone. So my skin's all kind of dewy from the tinted moisturizer, and I'm just going to take a bronzer. This one is New York Color Sun to Sun, and normally New York Color, I don't like the quality very much, but this I've had for two years, and I still have so much left. This is in the palette Bronze Gold, by the way, and I really like it because the darker side is completely matte and the lighter side is slightly shimmery. So I like to mix them together and use them and it gives you a really nice sun-kissed effect and it looks natural too. So I'm just going to swirl these together with just a paddle brush and just suck in my cheeks and use it kind of as a blush but underneath my cheekbones. And then a little on my chin. And then down the sides of my nose. I don't like to put it on the top of my nose because that part of my nose always gets shiny. So I'm going to deal with that later. And then I just do the three. Starting with my temple, going to my cheek, and then my jawbone. And then the other side. And by doing this before you set it with a powder, it makes sure your skin looks all glowy. See, it's not too dark, but I still look like I've been out in the sun for a little while. And then to get rid of the shine on some parts of my face, like right here, the apples of my cheeks and my nose, I just take my CoverGirl pressed powder. I'm in the color Buff Beige, and this is the oil control kind. So I'm just going to take it and put a little on the tip of my nose and on my chin. A little on the apples of my cheeks, but not too much because I'm going to put a blush there later. And then concentrating it on the upper part of my T-zone, like right here in between my eyebrows and on my forehead where I didn't put the bronzer. And blend it out with your finger if too much gets put on in one place. So next I'm going to go right ahead with the tutorial and I'm going to prime my eyes with my Benefit Primer, so you don't stray. Just dab it on my eyelids and in the inner corner. And rub it in. Make sure when you rub it in that you blend it under your lash line as well, so that if you have any foul out, it will be easier to brush away. And then your whole look just looks more blended. Then I'm going to curl my eyelashes. I like to do this before I put on eyeshadow, especially since it's a cream eyeshadow. I don't want the eyeshadow to come off on the eyelash curler, so I'm just going to do that really quick. So next I'm going to apply the eyeshadow. I'm using my Benefit Creaseless Eyeshadow in RSVP, which is a really pretty golden coppery color that's very shimmery and kind of tan looking. So I think this makes you look very healthy and it's very shiny, so it makes you look very pretty and bright. So this is great for back to school or like I said, a job interview. So I'm just going to take a flat shader brush because this is kind of a small pot to stick your finger into and just apply, apply that to my lid. Since this is such an iridescent color, I also like to apply it to my inner tear duct as a highlight because it looks really pretty and it's not as bright and obnoxious as just a plain white highlight. So now for a crease color, I don't want anything too dark and dramatic because when it's too dark, it tends to kind of build up under your eyes after a while, which makes you look really tired. So instead to look more perky and awake, I'm taking my Maybelline Sunlit Bronze Quad and I'm using the darkest shade over here, which is a pretty good dupe for satin taupe, but I kind of like that it's not as pigmented because it shows up lighter and it makes you look more girly and fresh instead of being too dark and dramatic. So I'm just going to take my MAC 224 brush and work this color into the crease. It does blend very nicely with the cream eyeshadow too, which I really like.
And this light crease color also gives you a lot of definition. It's really pretty. To keep the look really light and pretty instead of dark and dramatic, I'm just going to be using a light gray eyeliner. This is the Revlon Color Stay in the color Charcoal. And I really love this because not only is it waterproof, but it stays on all day and it's a really light color. So it gives you just enough definition, but it's not too dark. So I'm just going to apply that to the outer three quarters of my lower lash line. Try to apply without pulling on your eye because you can just fit it in between your eyelashes and it looks better that way anyways, rather than in your waterline. Next, I'm going to apply mascara, and I'm going to be using my Clinique Lash Doubling Mascara in black because it's not too clumpy, but it looks very girly and flirty and pretty, but it's not too over the top. So I'm going to go put this on, and I'll be right back. So as you can see, I put it on my top and bottom lash lines to make my eyes look bigger and flirtier. So one thing I hate about using cream eyeshadow is that it's really hard to get specks of mascara off. So I'm going to go take a Q-tip and go flick those off and I'll be right back. So now we're done with the eye makeup and I think they came out really nice. Um, they look really pretty but there's not a lot involved so it's just something you can whip on really quickly in the morning to go to school but it'll look really nice. So now, so I don't look so pale and washed out, even with the bronzer, I'm going to be taking a really subtle blush that's also a really unexpected color so it gives you a little pop and a little personality to your look. So this is an e.l.f. powder blush in Fuchsia Fusion and this is what it looks like. It's like a really bright sparkly purple, but when you put it on, it's actually really light and it gives you a nice pretty wash of color. So I'm going to be taking my e.l.f. Professional Blush Brush from the Studio line, which is kind of angled and this is one of my favorite blush brushes because it applies really well, but for this it doesn't turn out too bright. So I'm just going to take one side of my brush and tap it in here and put it on the apples of my cheeks for a subtle little girly wash of color. Blend it up to my hairline. Now you have a little color and a little glow so you look a lot healthier and happier and I think it's a really pretty look with the neutral eyes. So now for the lips, I just chose something that's really quick and easy and I think for just the beginning of school and especially if you're wearing this to a job interview, you don't want like sticky lip glossy lips or like cakey lipstick on. So I'm just going to be taking a Yankee Candle lip balm. This is in Root Beer Float and I really like these because they have SPF so they're good if you're wearing them out in the sun. It doesn't come out brown even though it looks brown. But these just give you a really glossy effect and people always ask me what lip gloss I'm wearing even though I'm not. They kind of have like a purple undertone so these look really glossy and they taste good and they're really easy to put on. So this is what I'm going to be putting on my lips instead of a lipstick or lip gloss. My lighting just kind of disappeared because the sun went away, but you can see they're really glossy and shiny and I think they're really pretty and they do give you a little bit of color. So this is my back to school makeup. I hope you guys like it. I think it's really quick and easy to do in the morning and it's also professional and not too heavy or dramatic looking for a job interview. So I don't know if I'm going to name this back to school or job interview makeup, but I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll try to list all the products I used in the down bar in case you didn't catch them and you just want to reference back. So please subscribe and talk to you later. Bye.